I've been adding stuff to platform 10 and one or two other little bits as well. Stay tuned and all will be with you. Well, as I said in the introduction, I've been making some bits to platform 10 and 11. So let's go and have a look and see what I've been up to. Well, one of the first things I want to show you is I've been busy painting people again. So let's see where I've put some on. Well, there's the footbridge. Now, not the footbridge, the um, the ramp. Um, and it is now complete. Um, the reason um, some of you might have read some of my comments back um, when you were saying, oh, how wonderful this is. I just didn't think it was. Um, one, because the edges didn't line up. They're all out of alignment for some odd reason, though the pieces were supposed to be the same length. I traced them the same. Um, what else? The Around this area here, down down this bit here, the you've got the joint from the slopey bit to the end bit. And that looked awful down this section here. Um, so... What I've done is I actually used insulating tape, electrical tape, and I cut, I stuck it to the board um, to a clean cutting mat, just like I was showing you um, in the last video. And if you remember, I cut that idea short uh, because it wasn't going to work when I was talking about putting it all the way around the edges of the acetate. Well, what I've done is actually thought, well, what the track itself is made of rubber or a form of rubber anyway and that obviously travels all the way around so I thought well I might as well cut a five millimeter strip and literally just stick it all over and it's hidden that joint perfectly you can't tell that there's there is a big gap underneath between the two pieces of plastic so that sorted that out and again at the top as well you can't tell it's just worked out beautifully so I'm really really pleased with that I've straightened up, I've tidied up the edges so that they finish in pretty much the same place now, pretty much. Um, and obviously you can see I've added a load of people. Um, I could have added more, but I just wanted to give the impression that it is a bit busy, but not manic. So, you know, because I don't want to be buying millions of people. <laughs> I, I've got um, the amount that's left there which is what I showed you a few seconds ago, that's got to go for the straight section. And um, then I'll probably have to get a few more to go over the rest of the station. So anyway, let's move on to the next bit. Well, I've got around to making the flat part of the travelator now. So as you can see, I've still put the insulating tape on there. And I've also put a piece on the bottom as well, just to hold it together. Because it's it's just got a one millimetre by one millimetre strip there. There's another one there and there's one joining the two pieces together. You can just about make that out, I think. So, yeah, I think that, that will be all right. Um, I'm not worried about there's a little lip there. Um, I know there wouldn't be. Considering that I've put people on that one, I need to do the same for this one. So I will get people glued on and the next time you see it will be on the layout. See you in a bit. Right, one of the next things I've done is the War Memorial on platform 10. And I'll just circle around so you can see. Now I've just had to draw lines to represent the names obviously because I couldn't possibly produce that and it wouldn't show up in Engage anyway so I know they're blank lines but that's my like little tribute to those people who are actually named on that memorial there you can see it's all 3d printed so obviously we've got the railing at the bottom which runs around some to stop the trolleys and stuff from bashing into it because it isn't quite um i don't know you could quite describe it as a vulnerable place um but i suppose it's possible that a, a trolley could easily bash into it but uh yeah but anyway the, oops <laughs> bit of movement there but anyway that's that so i will get that glued onto the layout so Right, next up, I'm going to be weathering these towers. Um, so I've got a spritzer bottle, 
um, some non oil which I've opened and some tissue to mop up any bits that get caught on the platforms. So my first job then is to spritz the uh, towers. Right, incidentally, I've, um, I've just filled this up again, but I've also put a little drop of washing up liquid in here because obviously that's going to help uh, break the surface tension on the model. So give that a bit of a squirt over like that. And there's that one to do too. Right, and then take the null oil. Now I don't want it to be heavy on here whatsoever. So I'm literally just going to do that and let it wipe, let it drip down. Now hopefully that will just go on as a wash. Might have to give it a bit of a helping hand. Looks a bit hopeless at the minute. I will catch all these drips. I'll go and do the other side from around the other side. But something along those lines. Now I'm gonna go over these steps as well because they are very clean looking. But it's getting there. So another little spritz. And just see how it goes. And just keep repeating the process until it runs how I like it really. Yeah, anyway, you're getting the idea of the sort of thing I'm doing there, just to sort of dull them down, just a tad, to take off the the brightness off them, if you like. So I'll just keep playing about with that. And then, like I said before, I'm hoping that it's going to go into the lines on the building. And it is to some degree, you can start to see some of the lines appearing. But I'll keep messing about with that, and I'll get back to you shortly and show you later. All right, for now. All right, welcome back, and on to the next thing. Now, this is one of the kiosks on platform 10. Now, if you're familiar with the station, you'll be aware that there are two, and I'm going to be modeling one, purely because of space. My platforms are shorter than the real thing, in, in a sense. So I think the one will look just enough, and you'll be able to see some of the other features that are behind, whereas if I did put another one in, it would, it would get in the way a little bit and it wouldn't quite fit as well as it as I'd like it to. So hence the reason for that. So we've got the roof, which you can probably tell comes in two parts, um, purely because both have to be printed on a flat bed. And this one was the outside was printed face down. And obviously the other one was printed face down. I've got glue on the bed that's why it's all come out all lumpy bumpy but that doesn't matter because that's going to be unseen on the inside of the building so we've got the back of the kiosk and again you might be aware there are loads of picture frames or poster frames um, this is the front this is the bit you'll see and actually I think that goes at the other end I think that goes at that end um, so because that's the bit where the TPE office is so that will line up yeah, that will line up with the back end of that, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So um, this bit here, um, it does have a little bit stuck to the top of it, purely so that it matches up over the top and that the front becomes flush. But that is a photo kiosk. And I've printed off, I've managed to find a picture of the real thing. I've had to squash it down a bit that way. So it does look a little bit on the small side. So I will get all this glued together and then primed and I'll come back and show you in a bit. There we go, as promised, I'd show you after it was primed. So it just needs a little bit of cleaning up now. So a little bit of filler 
Um, I do happen to have some of that, which is the Woodland Scenics ones, which I got from a Wally show, which was part of the Scenics pack they were giving away. Um, so um, I'll fill up these gaps and then it's a case of looking at the livery or the, the, the paintwork on it and see what colour it is and then start to apply any colours or whatever. Um, I've got some posters to stick on here and um, dirty up the roof, etc, etc. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Right, just to show you where we are at the moment. So I've now painted the building and also weathered the roof. That was literally just a variety of different colours, literally just dabbed on. And you can see it's... Uh, okay, so my next job now is to start painting some of these posts silver, the window frame silver, and there's a blue bit going around, certain parts of it, not there actually, it's this end, blue bits there, bottom, top and bottom, and signs to go on and things like that. So I'll show you a bit more in a while. Right, this is where we are so far. So you can see now I've got... Um, most of the building painted now and I fitted, um, well I say decals but they're not actually, it's just pieces of paper printed on the regular printer all along here. So that does say luggage or lost luggage, it's not come out very well I'm afraid and that's the best the printer will do. I've tried altering the contrast settings and it doesn't do anything to be honest. So. You can see that obviously we've got the big TPE logo wrapping around the side of the building as it does. And then on the back, there's the a range of posters. And obviously this is the lost luggage section here. I do need to fix some acetate into the windows, but um, at the moment I've got an interior printing for this section, uh, purely because I would like to put a light inside here. Uh, probably not so much into that side because um, you'd need to be around the back to see that. So I can't really see the point in wiring all that up um, for something you're not going to be able to see clearly, if that makes sense. Um, so I will put a light in this bit and because these are very big windows, you will be able to see right in. I've put the shutter slightly down so that it implies there is a shutter there. Now, before I go too much further with this, I'm going to give it a coat of matte varnish, which will obviously tone down this high gloss here and seal the paint or the prints just there and hopefully make them a tad more vibrant. All right, so I'll show you that when I've done it. Yeah, welcome back. So you can now see I've got the glazing in there and it's had that coat of varnish, like I said. So that part, as you see it, is pretty much done. I do need to put a light in there. Um, you'll, I've put a bit of extra floor in there, um, purely so, just in case you do see, it's got something over that side. Now, for the interior, what I've done is 3D printed the whole thing in one go. So there was a lot of fluff inside the shell so I've had to sort of scrape a lot of that out but then I've just literally just painted all the different lumps just to represent bags little computer screen or quite a big computer screen actually and I did notice in one of the pictures I saw there was a load of suitcases at the bottom here I don't know whether it's um a lost property type place or a place where you take your luggage leave it for a while and then go off and do something else and collect it in the after a while I don't know I think it's that sort of thing the latter of those two um, but uh, nevertheless there's two people behind the counter you might be able to make them out and there was obviously somebody in front of the counter so there's a bit of a seam going on there and if you can see this and it'll be obviously a lot easier once the light is in but that will slot in if I bring that light over something a bit like that because I've only done it because it's such a big window at the front and I think it would be quite noticeable if it was an empty place okay so I will get the light fitted in I'm not necessarily going to show that on this particular occasion because I've showed how to fit lights a fair few times so I will just fit that light and then the next time you see it will be on the layout okay so <laughs> Right, 
Right, so here we are then. So for, for the big reveal, show you these towers first of all. Now, the idea of that was to make it subtle so that the um, wash ran into the little lines that are going across the panel lines and it has done that. And if you look carefully, you can see the odd streak here and there. Okay, I'll show you from the other side. There you go, you can see the streak a lot more clearly on that one now. As I said before, it is intended to be very subtle and it's just to dull, take the bright, shiny white off them really. So that was the intention. Um, what I did find though, after spritzing them, is that probably after about 15 to 20 minutes, all of the wash had gone to the bottom. So I was constantly topping it up to the top and it was doing exactly the same thing. So in the end, I got a heat gun, held it probably around about 18 inches away and um, blasted it. A hairdryer would do just the same. Just give it a bit of a heat, give it a bit of heat and it soon set. It is very cold, as you can appreciate. Okay, right, so that's that. On to the next thing. Right, so this is the view over platform 12, looking at 11. And you can see now I've got the ramp in. So that goes into that area at the top there. Yes, there is a bit of a gap there, but I'm not going to worry about that. Little people, I'm sure, will be careful. <laughs> but so uh, you can see I've got the two travelators in there now. And also you can see the back end of that um, information building, the TPE bit. And as I said, it is not lit. It, I'm pretending that they've gone home and they've done a day's work and they've gone home after a busy day. And down there, you can just about make out the war memorial just there, holding the camera still. So again, I think there are war, war ceremonies, uh, memorial ceremonies held at that place as well. So there you go. And obviously people. Right, let's go around the other side. So there we are. That's the view from the other side. And you can see the travelator down there. And as I've just pointed out to you, the War Memorial is just there behind that uh, overhead gantry. All right. So on to the, um, lost, or the property storage. All right, so that's that building there. Just give you a bit of a pan round as well so you can see the whole your overall effect in the station. Bring it down a bit. I know I've got the canopy off at the moment. And then I'll just come down the side of that so you can see the interior in there and the people waiting and the TPU bit at the far end and uh, just give you a shot down there so it's getting there bit by bit little bit by little bit and also there are some more people there and Alan, if you're watching, oh, there's one person fell over. I need to glue him back again. Um, I've glued some of your figures in there as well. Thank you ever so much for those, the cleaner ones. <laughs> I said I haven't got around to painting the other three, which are a little bit sort of exposed, so to speak. I'll show you some more at the front. So there's three more there and one, one uh, lady. And there are, there is another lady down there just there okay well i hope you've enjoyed that and uh, i think next time what i am going to do now is to move on back onto this shopping area and start doing maybe a few shops not necessarily that many it might be a case of doing a few a uh, small number and then coming off and doing something else because it is quite tedious doing that sort of work all the time so we'll see i might even start the campers well just in case you wondered um this bit here there is a wall or a panel that runs up the side here that is obviously connecting up to the side of the 
canopies which come down there so it's the side wall to the canopy which will go back in and I'm going to make that from fresh okay anyway I'll finish the video there so take care of yourself and I'll see you again here soon on Piccadilly take care bye